Greetings in the wonderful, mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, my name is Prophetess Mutsidi Sikalfenia Moloi. I am based in Kronstadt. Um, I just want to share this um, teachings and uh, with you about forgiveness. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. Uh, John John three sixteen says, uh, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that that whosoever uh, believe in Him shall not perish and have everlasting life." That means we we live forever. Hallelujah! In Him there is life. Hallelujah. Um, the Word of God says. Um, uh, the power of um, uh, there is actually um, power in the tongue okay, of life and death but God encourages us to, to choose life uh, hallelujah where God is there is life hallelujah Matthew 6 33 says to us hallelujah he says to us Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And it's righteousness. And it's righteousness. And everything shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Um, basically, these teachings that um, I just want to share with you here, it basically confirms that. Hallelujah. Mark, um, I think in Mark, it, 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 it the Bible says, teaches us who are, um we should forgive so that our Father in heaven may also forgive us. Hallelujah. Um, um, hallelujah. So now here, this teaching is actually teaching us that um, what, what forgiveness does. Hallelujah. Uh, when we forgive others, we do the following. Hallelujah. We please God because we imitate him. Hallelujah. Matthew 18 verse 33 we pave a way for ourselves to be forgiven when we have trespassed. Hallelujah. Mark eleven twenty five. We release ourselves from the weight of unforgiveness. Hallelujah. Because our bodies were not made to to have unforgiveness. Hallelujah. Because we we even here it's actually stating that hallelujah. A lot of people are sick and a lot more are paralyzed. And some die, hallelujah, because of unforgiveness, hallelujah. We get destroyed, we get all this kind of sickness because of, of, of un unforgiveness, hallelujah. We, even by also not forgiving others, we jail, we, we basically jail other people, we prison, we put people in prison, hallelujah. But what we do to ourselves, we also do to other people as well, hallelujah. We close the door for Satan. To operate in our lives when we forgive hallelujah um the, here the teachings is it's it, it's actually here um the apostle um apostle of is actually teaching us here that um what happens when we open the door he says here Horna, we, we open a big door for satan in our lives if we do not forgive therefore satan is able to do as he pleases in our lives and and those who do not forgive hallelujah he can hinder their success and development easily and abuse them with a disease and different abuses hallelujah and unforgiveness as well the danger of it it's it it's actually you cannot operate in faith when you have an unforgiving heart hallelujah faith is unable to function perfectly when there is unforgiveness because faith works in love hallelujah because you have this compassionate heart um just like um our lord and savior jesus christ when he every time when he actually help somebody when he ministered minister to somebody hallelujah he one uh, i remember there's also scripture in the new testament where he wept when before he had to um wake uh somebody hallelujah so he felt you can only weep hallelujah for somebody if you have love inside of you hallelujah 
my time is up um and i thank you for your time in the mighty name of jesus stay blessed